this appears to have been made in, oh no, made in China. That's why sometimes it's a fine product. They just get some of the words wrong. This is a master lock. You know master lock. Look, cable combo with paddle cock. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pass on the paddle cock. Just give me the lock. My, my wife trusts me. Let's see what we have here. All right, meeting on open meeting is closed. Here's the Orient Restaurant. Our reputation is built on our food. Look what it says. Traditional Chinese food, expertly repaired. <laughs> Let's say you got a broken wonton. Where do you take it? You bring it in here, make it look brand new. Other places just give you another one. This one will fix the wonton. Okay, I, I admit I'm a bad speller, but you know, I'm not a proofreader, okay? Who wrote this sentence? Jerry of Ben and Jerry speaks at BSC. Jerry Greenfield of Ben and Jerry fame will spoke at Bridgewater State College. <laughs> Look at the next thing. Wednesday, ice cream was be served. <laughs> I love this story. Chihuahua pack attacks police officer. Okay, all right. I mean, let's say, let's say it's the end of the day. You're back at the station house. You're with your, you're with your cops. You're with your homies, okay? What'd you do, Bob? Uh, some gang members had it pinned down, got caught in a crossfire. What happened to you, Larry? I was attacked by a bunch of chihuahuas. They just seem, you know, don't even tell people. Uh, this is state smoking ban takes effect. Uh, I think they're taking away people's rights, says Harry Sumner, lighting up. Pretty soon you won't even be able to be naked in your own backyard. You know? <laughs> well, this says jury finds Spates guilty of murder. He didn't help himself. Look at this plea. Defendant makes plea in closing argument. Please find me not guilty of the crimes I have committed. <laughs> well, well, right there. Well, well. At least he's honest. <laughs> All right, give me a break. Oh, this is the stupidest thing. Tell your TV what to do with voice-activated remote. What? 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 You can't press the button. <laughs> Bonanza! I want to watch Bonanza on Channel 11. <laughs> Here's a poorly written sentence. Seniors to tour morgue eat ribs. <laughs> Tyler knows. Tyler knows the importance of keeping his disaster supply kit handy. Yeah, what was that? Two ice creams? That's his disaster supply kit. This is a postcard someone sent me. Look, wish you were here, Orlean General Hospital. What is that? <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> How do you say that name, Kev? El Eldo? Uh, Alito? Alito, yeah. Alito Fitness Center. Look at where it's located, right behind Alito Donut Shop. So this guy, <laughs> this guy gets you coming and going, basically. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, Dellingen, teacher of the year. He was one of the few who actually enjoyed his teachers at Nathan Lane High School. Wow, I didn't know Nathan was that good. Yeah, he's on our show tonight. It's... <laughs> See, it's Nathan Hale who was a... <laughs> I had that last week and I saved it for him and now he looks like an idiot. <laughs> look, he's here. Look. Wait, where, where'd it go? Look, will you fake it for me? I'm gonna do it again. The guy is here, okay? Look, he was one of the few teachers, one of the few who liked his teachers at Nathan Lane High School. Here's the best little gym in town, Nautilus Poolside Fitness Center, and look, that's actual size. <laughs> Some sort of finger pool, apparently. <laughs> I love this one. 
Fresh show the story, uh, Ellen. Garland City resident Percy Williams helps the owners of G&G Grocery remove contaminated food from the store after Tuesday night fire. That's very nice of him. Can we see the contaminated food? He's taking a case of Miller Lite, or Bud Light. Case of Bud Light he's got there. Apparently got contaminated. I want you to look at this couple. Look at the man and the woman, ready for relief from arthritis. Look, the man had arthritis, and oh, look at him picking, oh, okay. Now, isn't this the same guy? Does size matter? Penal enhancement. Yeah, so. And you don't want to know how he's holding her up there. So apparently, uh, apparently those stiff joints are paying off. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm sorry. When you're a professional photographer, you work for a newspaper, you're taking a picture of people for the newspaper, don't ask them to stand in front of the balloons, okay? That's what happens when they stand. In front of the I love this. Sewerage spill kills fish, but water safe to drink. I would just, you could push the fish aside. And, well, look at this thing here. This is a copy machine, a big sale on this copy machine. Look what they're copying. Look, $100 bills. Okay. Okay, this is an Amtrak train that derailed. It says, passenger said the train was moving at full speed when it collided with the truck. The train's front two wheels derailed from the track. Diesel fuel splashed across the front of the train, and hours later, fuel still dripped from the truck's fuel tanks. Amtrak personnel then opened the windows so we could smoke cigarettes, Dow said. <laughs> I was worried about the diesel fuel being around. Well, put out the cigarette, you moron! <laughs> Only Amtrak could make it worse. Let's open the windows so you folks can smoke. <laughs> what does this mean? Lost donkey wearing pink halter. <laughs> Well, this is the Sweet Temptation. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Sweet Temptation restaurant. Assorted platter, petite samples of house favorites, and a side of boner. What is that? <laughs> now, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. <laughs> Folks, if you have a headline, send it to Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California. Sweet. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Folks, it's Monday night. Time for headlines. Now, Kev, you know me, I'm a little dyslexic. I'm a bad speller. Right. But, you know, at least I ask somebody else. If I don't okay. know, I don't mind asking some nine-year-old, hey, how do you spell this? You know? <laughs> this person took out a lost, missing dog, small, golden brown, palm Iranian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a palm Iranian dog. Here is your classic definitions of the headline bit. UN issues report to stop issuing so many reports. There you are right there. <laughs> I guess they want to protect themselves from reliability. His Burger Island fresh made harm burgers. <laughs> well, here's something you want to do, huh? Protect yourself from summer fun. Yay, whatever you do. <laughs> We're going to the beach, but we don't want to have a good time. Well, I got another. Kev, I think I found the washer dryer for you. Oh, really? Look at this. <laughs> Neptune front load washer, built in high definition tuner, 20 watt speaker system. <laughs> you can have a fabulous. That's a good one, man. I like this one. It's the uh, coloring contest. Color in all the things there. Can you see that? Look. Big coloring contest. Look at the rules. Must be 18 or older to enter. <laughs> A lot of 20-year-old guys. Hey, let's keep... Bob, can I use your crayons? <laughs> you know, I'm a car guy. You know that, Kev. Right. I understand this. Buy four shocks, get one free. All right. Now, what am I doing with that fifth shock? I make a key ring out of it? Hey, I got it. <laughs> got my Monroe-matic right here. I just carry my extra shock in case there's a problem. <laughs> You know, I thought I knew all the uh, cars, Kev. I don't know this model. The Ford 2001 Excretion.
can afford excretion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to do that joke. Never mind. I like weather. Here's your Hudson River area weather. Look at this. Mostly cloudy fog, drizzle, general sadness. <laughs> this general sadness. <laughs> uh, oh, here you go. Appalachia mayor and 13 others charged with fixing the 2004 election. Uh-oh. A Wise County grand jury yesterday indicted various officials in the town of Appalachia, including the mayor, and charges they fixed the election. Look at this. Charges ended a year on investigation began when a woman complained that a candidate offered her pork rinds in exchange for her vote. <laughs> when will it stop? <laughs> well, we got a bag of cash or some pork rinds. <laughs> I never heard of that. Fairfield Oaks. If your goal is to own a home in the mid 100,000s in a small congenital neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, how, how, there you go. This, this is unbelievable to me. 13 people fell ill in Prince George last month after eating from a buffet that a customer had vomited on. I mean, how does that work? I mean, you're standing there with your tray. Oh, all right. I'll try to work around the chickpeas there. Oh, how did, how did, you know, when, when you, how hungry are you? <laughs> this is a beautiful home. I think they meant to say immaculate. Okay. Emasculate! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You know, women, I think every woman has met a guy that just doesn't have a clue. You know? <laughs> nice guy. This man seems like a nice man. Doesn't have a clue. Look at this. This is an advice column. It says, question, for her birthday, I bought my girlfriend a very expensive top-of-the-line nose and ear hair trimmer. <laughs> I thought this would be a nice way of bringing to her attention a personal <laughs> hygiene issue she doesn't seem aware of. To my surprise, she became hostile as soon as she opened... <laughs> I got you a case of Summer's Eve. Oh! <laughs> Here's why I say good. What goes around comes around. It's about time. Alton attorney accidentally sues himself. There you go. <laughs> Look at this menu. Meatballs, pasta salad, broken glass. <laughs> Now, I admit, you know me, Kevin, I don't know much about fashion. All right, all right. I don't know, women, I don't know, would you wear these? Seem a little painful to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never mind your personal life. I'm not. Hey, look all right. Kev, what do I hate? Oh, stupid criminals. No, what else? Oh, dressing up pets. Here's the <laughs> stupidest one yet. Your dog's not going to wear that. Okay. <laughs> Ew. What does this mean? For sale, sheep, slightly used, housebroken. <laughs> Here's the sunbeam thermometer. Keep track of the temperature with this easy to read outdoor thermometer. Hey, what's the temperature? Uh, 20 after eight. <laughs> I like this one. Lawnmower, $35. Good lawnmower, $45. <laughs> what? I don't know what they're cooking here. What's that? I don't know what this is. I don't know what animal it is. Right. I don't want to eat. Look what they're cooking here. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> 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 this 
This is my favorite one. This one just has guy written all over it. Uh -oh. This is like a typical guy. A Maryland man met a woman in a Seattle bar, and she went with him to his house in the 700 block blah, 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 to spend the night. When he woke up, she was gone, as was $700 in cash he had in his wallet. He told police all he could remember was she had red hair and large breasts. <laughs> Sir. And she can come rob me again tomorrow. Well, you have a headline. Senator Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Or go to our website, NBC.com slash Tonight Show. Be right back with Ron Howard right after this. There you go. Shooting for good health. Immunizations help to make childhood a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much forget your childhood. You get one of those tickets. Uh, Toyota Scion. Look, it's a coffin with a 52-inch sunroof. Well, that's a, a big selling point, huh? Crime report, Newark Police Department. This is the Newark Police Department crime log, Kip. Okay. <laughs> Someone exposed himself or herself at the corner of 6th and Locust Street. You know, if you expose yourself and people can't tell if you're a man or a woman, <laughs> that is not a good sign. Here's an 8 foot by 2 foot round poly tank, and look, it's ideal for livestock. <laughs> France to send 2,000 troops into Lebanon, and what a fierce fighting force they look like. <laughs> Selling, there's a pet door for sale, eight feet tall, never used, you know? I don't know what. What do you got, King Kong? What kind of pet? <laughs> hey, the dog's home. <laughs> it's another police beat. Oop, come back here. After giving himself an enema, a Falston man reportedly became extremely confused and argumentative. <laughs> Who was he arguing with? <laughs> he gave himself an enema and then became argumentative. <laughs> I like this one. Look, it's teeth in about an hour. Yeah, teeth in an hour. <laughs> now, did they really give him teeth or did he just trim his mustache? What happened there? Kev, I see why you're vegetarian. Oh, what's Look at that, this, man? only $1.79 a pound. Worn out meat. <laughs> this is in the lost and found section. Lost, camera with personal pictures taken from the ladies' restroom at Lorain County Fair. <laughs> no questions, oh yes there are. <laughs> Box of 27 all-new, never-used Harlem romance books. <laughs> so, so, so. Here's somebody that spells worse than I do. All crystal chandelier. <laughs> you think Albertson's market would know how to spell? Look, fresh. Nectarine. <laughs> or how about just below that fresh peaches? <laughs> hey, Easter, you like some peaches? <laughs> There's a 1950 era singer sexing machine. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sure this man's name is Angus. Right. I'm sure his name is Angus. He's a world-famous chef. Right. How embarrassing. World-famous flaming anus will be one of the various foods. <laughs> hey, and stay away from the chili, I'll tell you. Yes, it's flaming anus, the famous chef. <laughs> I'm sure they meant to say immaculate. Okay. Here's a Winnebago Chieftain motor home generator, new tires, no smokers, no put. Look, it's ejaculate inside and out. Yeah. Yeah. How excited are you about this motor home? That's good. 
Can't we get some peaches and go with the chandelier? This was on a bag, Lego brand, corner on the cob, best used before that date. Oh, this is the West Side Rowing Club Senior Bill Lightweight Eight. That's the name of the rowing club. You All know, right. and they didn't. You know, that's what I love. They didn't want to say they came in last. Okay. The West Side Rowing Club Senior B Lightweight Eight placed second out of two at the Royal Canadian. <laughs> Here's look at this. Here is a cotton. These are pajamas. Okay, how gay are these two? Okay, I'm sorry. When men live together, they don't put the orange juice in a pitcher before they drink it, okay? They, they open the carton and they drink it out of the carton. <laughs> question of the day. This is the question of the day. Of all the questions that go on on a daily basis, question of the day, what constitutes a millionaire? Well. According to Jerry Beto, branch manager and senior vice president of investments at A.G. Edwards & Son, a millionaire is someone who has one million dollars. <laughs> of course, the next question, what's a billionaire? <laughs> Can't we see why you're a vegetarian? Look, 99 cents a pound, Boston butthole. <laughs> Here's Rice Lake's police log. This is the police log. 12, 22 a.m. Caller's wife came into his work, stole his wallet and keys from his car, left a note that she was leaving him. Caller just wants his wallet and keys back. Uh -uh. 1243, officer reports the above property has been returned. 119, wife from 12, 22 a.m. is afraid her husband is going to kill himself because she left him. Officer talked with the husband. He's fine. International farmer's market. This is why you want to buy the brand name product. Spend over $30, get two free 12 packs of Coca-Cola. <laughs> we're out of time. We're out of time. we got to go. Folks, you have a headline. Send the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Or go to our website, NBC.com. Last Tonight Show. Be right back with James Woods right after this. We got a terrific show tonight from American Idol, the warm and cuddly Simon Cowell is here. <laughs> I like Simon, nice guy. My wife is very upset that Chris Daughtry was kicked off the show. I've never seen her like this. She's, oh, yeah. I mean, she's furious. Like, I'm not watching anymore. She never gets that way. <laughs> so she's really upset, so we'll find out about that. Also, a 93-year-old act, uh, actor named Johnny Holiday. This guy didn't become an actor until he was 91. So he's here to check in. See, oh, he, cool. apparently he's got a 15-year plan. So we're going to see how he's going. <laughs> oh, and music from T-Bone Burnett. I'm very excited about that. That'd be great. Tomorrow night, one of the best guests of all time, Ellen DeGeneres, will be here. I love Ellen, always very funny. Also, we got uh, Angelina Lilly and Nicolette Sheraton. Michael Bolton's going to sing on that show. Right. So they're engaged, so I don't know. Anything could happen, I guess. <laughs> Folks, it's Monday night. Time for headlines. says, celebrate Mother's Day, put mom on cloud nine with these fabulous shoes. Your mom is not going to wear these, okay? <laughs> Look, they're sandals that have a bottle opener in the bottom of them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What mom doesn't what? like to kick up her heel and open a brewski? <laughs> Kev, here's something you might like for the house. Oh, it's there, man. A white trash compactor. <laughs> Well, you know, this one really made me laugh. They're selling draperies and curtains. Right. 
All right, there's curtains. No one seemed concerned that there's a giant bear outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Honey, <you> go. <laughs> Here. You know, Kev, I thought I knew all the cars. All right. I don't know this one. There's a 95 Mercury Mistake four door. <laughs> Here's Ball State University. Look, they're looking for a library office assistant <laughs> to work in the university libraries. Our smallest hearing aid is virtually invisible. <laughs> now you see it? Now you really see it. I don't know. Is it invisible to you? <laughs> What's that? His and her deluxe twin coffin set, slightly Ooh. used, comes with pine tree air freshener. <laughs> Throw your next printing order, why not go out of town? <laughs> well, how stupid is this? Look at this. Hurricane shelter kit, a sensible alternative. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to yeah. Come on, kids, get everybody in here. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just get in the barbecue, okay? It's the same thing. <laughs> Kev, you don't have any GM monogram appliances? No. Fine appliances. All right. I don't know about this one. <laughs> GE mammogram dishwasher. Apparently, you just apparently while you're washing the dishes, you just in the kitchen. Of... <laughs> you always want to buy the name product, not the one that sounds like the name product. Duncan Hines, fine, fine name and cake mixes. Wouldn't you agree, Kevin? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Well, here's. Don't go with this. Duncan Heine's Moist Deluxe. <laughs> Different. <laughs> Who wouldn't like a Duncan Heine, actually? It's a <laughs> Fall Home Builder's Guide, Snavely Brookside. Only five homes remain available. Look at the last sentence. Come visit our neighborhood. You will want to stay away. I mean, this is... <laughs> Ugh. I see why you're vegetarian, Kev. Two local men and one great idea equals success. At the meat house, the men sell poultry, lamb, veal, and erotic meats. Ooh. I'm going to pass on the erotic meat, all right? <laughs> There's a six couples, a livestock trailer used to transport the six couples to the Ellenwood High School prom. Really? And what girl doesn't want to be taken to a prom in a horse trailer? <laughs> Here's black suede, richly distinctive, distinctly masculine. Comes in three masculine scents. Fresh aromatic, oriental amber, and sensual woody. What is that? Sensual. <laughs> <laughs> Question, your opinion. Would you approve or disapprove of wireless telephone towers in your neighborhood, even if they were concealed? Look at Radford Mitchell. Hey, that stuff causes cancer, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, how lazy do you have to be? Gospel sing to benefit Calvary Baptist Church. And look, live drive through crucifixion planned. You know, <laughs> if you can't get out of your car. <laughs> I like this. This is the night exchange. It's one of these stupid sex things. It says, look, your privacy is guaranteed. Your privacy is guaranteed. It's guaranteed your privacy. Go on over. Eavesdrop on others. Hey, I thought my privacy was... Here's Crescent Center Drugs. If your doctor writes you a prescription for a specially prepared suppository, we can and will fit it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Uh... <laughs> 
He is. A, you know, Kev, again, I thought I knew all the options on the cars. You know, you got, some, you got the talking thing, your door is ajar, right. you got DVD players, you got every kind of thing. It's 96 Dodge 1500 cassette automatic and ass wiper. Right. Folks, you have the headlines. Santa Tonight Show with Jay Leno. 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Or go to our website, NBC.com slash Tonight Show. Be right back with Simon Cowell right after this. He's uh, won all the awards this year. Uh, Dominic Monaghan is here. Very good. Cool. Yeah, nice guy. Uh, from the TV show Bones, actress Emily Deschanel. Uh, what's a, isn't that a sexy name? It is. It's one of those names that just sounds sexy. It sounds Emily like a perfume or Deschanel. something. But yeah, like a perfume. Right. Deschanel. You know, it sounds yeah, like a name. Nice. It's a real name. Like Deschanel. And music from a POD. Tomorrow night, Harrison Ford will be here. That'll be great. In fact, he's... Uh, Kevin and I saw the movie, Firework. Wasn't that good? Yeah, yeah, it's a real old-fashioned cool, Harrison man. Ford exciting adventure movie. Right. Also this week, Snoop Dogg, uh, Thursday, Roseanne Barr will be here. Oh, we have that sex doctor, Dr. Sue Johansson. So we'll be talking sex with Roseanne, and, and I don't know what Roseanne will ask this woman, but I, I'm not sure I want to know, but that should be interesting. And a special report from Mo Rocca at the Super Bowl in Detroit. Okay, <laughs> folks, it's Monday night. Time for headlines. <laughs> Boy, it shows you how times have changed, Kev, since I got married. <laughs> What's that? Man? Well, this is a, uh, they have a bridal suite at the Bayview Inn. You see what it says there? Bridal suite, $260. Third person, $20. You know, I'm sorry. You know, if you can't make it work that one time, <laughs> honey, can we bring somebody else in? It's just <laughs> I know I've only been married seven hours. This isn't working. We need to call the maid. This is from the Tennessee Inn. I couldn't believe this because of a loophole. Lobbyists offer legislators cash at ethics session. <laughs> That's what it says. It says right here, it says, uh, although it's illegal for legislators to accept campaign money during a regular season, ironically, through a loophole, they can't accept money during special ethics sessions. <laughs> hey, it's your government at work. Hey, here's a puzzler, huh? God, I'm stumped. City unsure why the sewer smells. I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Hey, Kev, we get back to Pennsylvania together. Let's do this. Let's see, Harry. Experience the world of the Amish. Be a part of the Amish story in the special effects Amish experience theater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, move that butter churn. Wow. Yeah. We're painting the barn now. <laughs> Come join us. Italian night, cocktails and odors. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Prisoners serving 2,000 year sentence could face more time. Ooh. Ooh, I'm scared. Ooh. <laughs> what, another four years? Ooh, I can handle it. Recreation, more play equipment for on tap for parks. Really, you think the kids need more play equipment? They're really, like, they're not having the time of their life on that. Army vehicle disappears. An Australian army vehicle worth seventy-four thousand dollars has gone missing after being painted with camouflage. Where is that? New listing in Carbondale. Move right in. Look, with mysterious hidden commode. Oh, this guy. That's, when you, that's what you want when you have diarrhea. Where's the bathroom? Oh, it's a mystery. I don't know. I don't like... Kev, do you eat this organic soy frozen dessert? You oh, the... yeah. It's, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah it's bad. Oh, no, sir. It... It's bad. No, no, it's really good for you, man. You should try it. Well, organic soy frozen dessert. And look at the red. The guy looks like he's really enjoying it, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a deal for sale. Two coffins, $75 each, slightly used. <laughs> During the War of 1812, the British captured the fort. An American attempt to retake this fornication in 1814. <laughs> 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 I go 
want to know why it failed. You didn't, you didn't spend the extra twenty dollars to bring the other. <laughs> Oldest person in the world passes away at the age of 112. My favorite sentence: cause of death was not immediately known. <laughs> I'm stumped. <laughs> Look, how fat are we getting in America? Stainless steel butter tray, double wide to hold two sticks of butter. Oh, how many times you sit down to dinner? Ha you, you finished the whole stick already. <laughs> it's the Chinese New Year. Celebrate the year of the dog. Okay, you know, I'm not... Uh... Mittens? <laughs> Mittens? <laughs> it's a girl dog. Mittens? <laughs> I love this story. Lake City, Florida. The sheriff's deputies in Columbia County will be watching more than 1,300 pornographic videos for the next few weeks to determine if they violate obscenity laws. Look at this down. It's going to take a long time to go through these, says Captain Bear Smithy. Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs> Honey, I'm working late at the office. Yes. <laughs> we got a lot of work to get through here, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid thing that is. <laughs> Look at this. Christmas, December 21st. Christmas with the Moron Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy lips with lip enhancer. There you go. Kev, didn't you use one of those for something? <laughs> talking about man now you always be careful when you go to the movies there's always the movie and then there's the porno version of the movie and All you don't right. want to go to the porno version of the movie like this one the george clooney film good night and good lick see that's the yeah, that's... here's some very clever marketing look at that 39 dollars cordless screwdrivers all right one last one What? These are three words you do not want to hear together. Dick decorating knife. <laughs> well, check the headlines. There is tonight's show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Or go to our website, NBC.com slash Tonight Show. Be right back with Dominic Monaghan. Bush and Russian President Putin have joined the Blue Man Group. <laughs> West St. Paul, missing bird. A caller reported to police June 30th that a bird had been stolen from her apartment 100 block of Haskell Street. Later determined the bird had not been stolen but was lying dead at the bottom of the cage. <laughs> you know something? I have never seen David Letterman looking better. See his picture in the paper? What a handsome guy he is. <laughs> this is interesting. This is the New York Yankees fax. Apparently somebody was using a fax checker. Okay. And when they typed in the word black, the fax checker corrected it to African American. All right. Throughout the 1999 regular season, postseason, the Yankees wore an African-American number five on their left sleeve in memory of Yankee great Joe DiMaggio. They also wore an African-American armband in memory of the New York former pitching great Catfish Hunter. <laughs> so you can't say black anymore, no matter what it is, it's African-American. Here's someone renting a home. House for rent, older two bedrooms, single or couples preferred. No poets! <laughs> Here's Prince Edward trying to cop a cheap feel. <laughs> Why would you take this ad out? What are your chances of finding this person? Will the person who got hit in the head with a tomato in the 50s please contact me? <laughs> so you figure the guy would have to be at least 60 or 70 now. You know, here's a bad picture. This kid is eating a lollipop 
Well, a guy behind him is playing with a sword, but the photographer makes it look like the guy stabbed the kid in the face with the sword. <laughs> You wonder why people, why aren't people coming to our hair salon? What's the problem? Well, maybe it's because you call it the Nazi hair salon. <laughs> Disturbing the police? Woman called the reporter neighbors in the 1900 block of Pompano Lane were making noise because it was 3 a.m. She wanted it stopped. Police informed it was actually 3 p.m. <laughs> Kev, I know your dad is a deacon in the church. Yeah. Sure Baptist, is. Methodist? Baptist. Baptist. Yeah. The Methodists are a little different. They're a little United quiet. Methodist Church, whips and chains and worship. Well, that's... Well, well, well that's... Well, I don't know. He might, he might switch now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> a premature ejaculation drug waits in the pipeline. Well, come on. Here's a trip to Mexico, full week, deluxe curse. <laughs> Here's the Roadrunner Roofing Company. Yeah, too bad that's the Pink Panther. <laughs> They're gonna steal the logo, at least get the right one. This is a bad uh, slogan, Coldwell Banker. Joe specializes in homes for the newlyweds and the newly dead. What is that? Sex for life. Yeah. And look, oral treatment available. I'm not sure what that means. And finally, this is a vineyard. Come taste for yourself. Taste the, the you know, Cape May, beautiful area, Cape May. Right. Just, I'm sure it's a lovely vineyard, just a bad name. <laughs> Turdo Vineyard. <laughs> yes. Come. The Curdo Vineyard. Folks, you have a headline. Send the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Or go to our website, NBC.com slash Tonight Show. Be right back with David Spade. band but apparently you guys know something i don't know look at this study pot users are happier <laughs> that's true actually <laughs> all speculation of course this is a police report from ashland i like what happened at 3 56 p.m look at that dispatch report of a swanson chicken pot pie running east on clay street I like the fact that they identified it as a Swanson chicken pie. Not just, what kind of pie is it, Bob? It looks like a Swanson, Jim. I can't quite... <laughs> Look at this. Sex abuse. Democrats are open to the idea. <laughs> you know, I've always been a little suspicious of where the meat comes from when you go into some of these places. Look at Arby's. Get four regular road beef sandwiches. Okay, now you see the key. He is in the road beef. <laughs> now, this seems cruel to me. A cat teaser water bowl. You see, the cat thinks there's water in it and, and fish, and then when he sticks his face in it, bonk, he hits it. <laughs> <laughs> well, here you go. This is all the church services, what the sermons. You know, you, go, you want to see what the sermons are going to be. I like the first Methodist church on Michigan Ave. See what it says? What does it say? Today's sermon, God is with us. Let's go over to the Presbyterian Church in Kingsbury. Sermon, oh, where art thou? God, where art thou? He's over in the Methodist Church. That's where he is. Here's a bad wedding photo. It's a lovely couple, a bad wedding photo. The man is standing near some, near some kind of table, but it looks like he's wearing a hoop skirt. Look at the guy. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, look at this. Look at this toaster. You can buy this toaster. It's a color picture. 
But how long has that toast been in there? Can you get a little closer there? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pass on the toast. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm going to pass on the toast. Uh, this seems a little cruel. Russell D. Poggenpole, 53, of Raymond, charged with being overweight and gross. That seems a little mean. Seems a little mean. Hey, if you like artwork, here you go. There's a Salvador Dali print. <laughs> you know, some recipes just don't sound appealing, but they might actually taste quite good. And this one here, by, sent it by Barbara and Bernice, it's called Dump Stew. That seems like a bad one. You know, I'm going to pass on the Dump Stew. It just, just doesn't sound uh, Now, this is a woman who baked pies, I guess, in Decanter, Illinois. Isn't that where it is? Decatur, Decatur, Illinois. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sure she's a lovely woman, uh, but the, just the way that they wrote the headline is terrible. Not making fun here. Just look. News of death inspires mouth-watering memories. It just seems bad. It seems bad. I mean, a lovely woman baked pies, and they make it sound like this. I guess this is Austin, Texas. Look at this. Austin's foot-long hot dog. It's a foot-long hot dog. Look, a grilled 10-inch all-beef hot dog. You can tell a guy wrote that, can't you? Yeah. It's 12 inches. Uh, look at this. Kids menu featuring 18 beers on tap. Feelings, prom dresses, beautiful spring arrivals for the latest prom gowns. Okay, could we rent the guy a shirt? <laughs> you know, this, this guy comes to pick up your daughter wearing just prom pants, okay? <laughs> well, this one is unbelievable to me. This, this is unbelievable. Okay. Questions under, uh, question under oath about a church abuse scandal. New Hampshire's bishop suggests that it is less serious for priests to molest someone from outside the parish. In depositions, Bishop John B. McCormick said he knew that Rex Roland uh, Cote had sex with a teenage boy, but no, the boy was not a parishioner. I'm concerned about that, but it's quite different if the guy's not even from our parish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what do you got, Mike? Hey, here's a hell of a deal. Look at it. Never open. Woman's colon. <laughs> okay, here's, here's action and reaction. Yeah, every, for every action, there's... All right. Look at the headline. Parks making do with fewer lifeguards. See that? Hmm? Okay. Pan over, same page. Man drowns in state park. Okay, right there. Right there. You see what I'm saying? If you have any headlines, send it to Headlines, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523, or go to our website, nbc.com slash Tonight Show. Be right back with Simon, Randy, and Paula right after this.